Hi everyone, my name is Nitish, and today we will be discussing the first question of the series, which is how to detect the cycle in the linked list. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. The problem statement is: We are given with a linked list with its head pointer, and we need to tell whether that linked list contain a cycle or not. For example, in the first linked list, the last node is pointing to the null. so we can say that this linked list does not contain a cycle but in the second example the last node is pointing back to the first node so this linked list contain a cycle so we can say that if the last node of the linked list is pointing to the any of other nodes for example if it is pointing to itself or it is pointing to some another node other than null then that linked list contain a cycle i hope the problem statement is clear to you guys and now let's get to the solution part one of the possible solutions to this problem can be hashing so basically we will use a hash set to keep a track of all the visited nodes hash set is basically a data structure which provides us lookup in awe of one time in case you guys don't know what hash set is or want to know more about the hash set then you can check the link in the description below So what is the basic logic behind using a hash set we will traverse through our linked list and we'll keep a track of all the visited nodes in case we encounter the same node which is already visited then we can say that our linked list contains a cycle and in case we encounter a null while traversing through the linked list then we can say that the linked list does not contain a cycle let's try applying this logic on our examples Now, if we start with this example, first we will visit node one. We'll check is it is present in the visited nodes, which is false. So we'll add this node to the visited set, and we will move to the next node. Now we will check whether node two is present in the visited set, which is not true. So we will add node to the set, and we will visit the next node. likewise node 3 is also not present into the set so we will add this node to the set and we will visit the next node now we will check if the node 4 is present in the visited nodes which is not true so we will add the node 4 to the set and now we will visit the next node if you look in this example the next node to the 4 is node 1 so we will visit node 1 again now we will check whether the node 1 is present in this set then yes node 1 is already present in this visited set so we can say that this linked list have a cycle now let's talk about the time complexity and the space complexity of this algorithm so we have to traverse through the complete linked list so we can say that the time complexity of this algorithm will be o of n as we are using a hash set to keep a track of all the visited nodes the space complexity will also be o of n we can also solve this problem in o of n time complexity but with constant space complexity for that we have to use the floyds algorithm floyds algorithm is also known as slow and fast pointer algorithm to understand the floyds algorithm first let's look at what are slow and fast pointers so slow pointer is a pointer which moves only one step ahead per iteration while a fast pointer is a pointer which moves two steps ahead by single iteration so the basic idea is a slow pointer is a pointer which moves slowly as compared to the fast pointer so now the floyd algorithm says if we are moving a slow pointer and a fast pointer in a cyclic data structure then at a some point of time the fast pointer will be able to capture the slow pointer this is the linked list that we have started with now for the initial stage both 
slow and fast pointer are pointing to the head of the link. As we know, slow pointer will move one step ahead per iteration. So, in the first iteration, slow pointer will be here. In the same iteration, fast pointer will move two steps ahead. So, fast pointer will reach here. Similarly, in the next iteration, our slow pointer will move one step ahead and will reach here. While fast pointer will move two steps ahead. So it will first go to four and it will then go to one. So in the second iteration, fast pointer will be here. In the third iteration, slow pointer will reach to the four. And the fast pointer will move two steps ahead. So it will go to two and then it will come back to three. So the fast pointer will reach here. Now, if you look clearly, in the fourth iteration, the slow pointer will go to 1. Also, fast pointer will move two steps ahead. So, it will go to 4 and then it will come back to 1. So, at this point of time, the value of our slow pointer and fast pointer is equal which is only possible if this linked list have a cycle. Hence, we can use this Freud algorithm to detect the cycle in our linked list. Now, let's talk about the time complexity and the space complexity of this problem. The time complexity of this problem in worst case will be O of 2n, which is as good as O of As we are not using any kind of storage, we are just using two pointers, the space complexity of this algorithm will be O of 1. I hope you guys are clear with the algorithm. Now let's look at the code for this solution. We will check if the start pointer is null, then we can simply return a false because there is no cycle. Then we will initialize slow pointer equal to the start pointer and also the fast pointer will point to the start of the linked list. Then we will run a while loop if the fast pointer is not null. Then we will check if the next of the fast pointer is pointing to a null. That means we have reached at the end of the linked list and there is not any cycle. So that is why we will return the false. In case the next of the fast pointer is not pointing to null, then we will move fast pointer by two steps. And we will move slow pointer by one step. Then we will check if the slow pointer is equal to the fast pointer, then we can simply return true because this means we have found a cycle. In case we are coming out of this loop, that means the value of the fast pointer is null and we have reached at the end of the linked list and we can simply return false. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, please like, share and subscribe. See you everyone in the next video with a new problem.